Hey guys, James here, Sketching the Beast, hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today, we're going to do, we're going to chat about a couple of different things, a couple of different subjects, and uh, just kind of keep it general and uh, have a little bit of fun with this one. So today, I'm doing a Galactic Sketch Card, and uh, dude, I gotta say, this one turned out really good. I'm very excited about how well this one turned out. Um, I kind of was uncertain about the colors because really, I just have the 24 pack of, of Copic sketch, mar uh, sketch uh, markers. So, you know, I had to use a couple different blends of colors in this one. And, and uh, I mean, just it did just, it turned out really good. I was very surprised. Um, I picked out a few different references from the internet and kind of used them to pick out the colors the best I could based on what I had, right? So they're a little bit off compared to what you would usually see. But anyways, regardless of that, it still turned out really good. And, uh, you know, I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys stay and, and check out the end of the video. So today what I'm going to talk about, so I'm going to talk about uh, what what it's like being an artist, what it's like being a part-time artist and, and a dad and a full-time uh, full worker and all that other stuff. Uh, so, you know, I'm not uh, here to, I'm not going to give you guys my sob story, of course, you know, <laughs> but um, I definitely, I wanted to uh, give you guys a little bit of insight here and, and, you know, what goes into my, my weeks and days now and, and why, why it's near impossible to come up to me and tell me that, uh, you know, you don't have time to do something because you do. I'm going to tell you that right now. You do. Uh, it may require, you know, giving up a few things to get to that goal or dream that you, you know, are trying to acquire or, or accomplish, but you'll get there. You just have to get into the mindset, the proper mindset that is, you know, I'm going to do this no matter what it takes. And yeah, you're going to be exhausted sometimes, but you know what I mean? It's going to be worth it at the end of the day because you're going to feel accomplished. You're going to feel like you've done something with yourself. So here, here's a quick breakdown of, of my day, right? So let me let me explain the situation. I work every day, 7 o'clock to 3.30, Monday through Friday. Okay, I get weekends off. I have a, It's a full, regular full-time gig. And, um, you know, I still manage to find time at least three times a week to work out and draw at least three times a week, if not more than that, you know. To top it off... Not only do I do that, I, I also will, you know, obviously do housework and all that other stuff. I own about two and a half acres of land in my house. You know, I live in Buffalo, New York. Not only do I have to deal with summers, hot, uh, hot summers, humid summers, and cold winters with freezing snow, right? So, you know, there's a lot that goes into this. So, my morning starts off. So, let's take Monday, for example. My morning starts off, start off Monday. I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 or 4.10, you know, depending on how... How, how groggy I am or if I um, had any problems falling asleep the previous night. And yeah, it happens sometimes. So, you know, uh, there are the once in a while occasions where I have to skip my morning workout routine just so I can, you know, survive the day. But, uh, you know, I'll wake up in the morning, Monday, wake up, work out, do my workout, and then I'll get up, you know, uh, I'll go upstairs and, and take a shower. Um, assuming I have enough time to do that, usually I do that. 9.9 .9 times out of 10. <laughs> um, so I'll take my shower, and then uh, once I'm done with the shower, I'll get the I'll get the kid ready, wake the wife up if she needs to go to work. Um, you know, let the dogs out, do all the other stuff. Then I go to work. I'll work all day long. You know, uh, some days are, are more mentally exhausting than others, and some days are, are physically exhausting than others. I work as an IT analyst, and you know that's my that's my full time gig. So, you know, and then I come home and then, uh, you know, I, I do usually chill out. I chill out for a little bit. Sometimes once in a great while, I'll be exhausted. I'll take a nap, you know, uh, whatever it takes to get through the day. <clears throat> but some, usually what's happening is I'm trying to let the, the kid take the nap and then I'm going to go do yard work. That's, that's the ideal situation. Now there are, again, there are days where I go take a nap as well. And, you know, that's probably three hours of my day wasted, but sometimes it's worth it. And you got to gotta take the little bites so then um you know i'll hang out with the family for a little bit make dinner uh cook and eat and then after that's all done, said and done you know we'll hang out maybe watch a movie or, or a show that we're watching and uh yeah there's a lot of there's some time that i'm here if you hear this i'm, I'm spending time with my family 
right? So again, it comes down to, you know, there are a lot of things I could be doing. And then some days during the week, you know, I have to do the lawn and all other stuff. And those those tie in, right? But I'm giving you the, the perfect a perfect day in my, in my in my mind, right? So then after the, after we eat and we do all that other stuff, and, uh, you know, it's bedtime. Eh, it's 8.30, you know, sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take a, a shower and, you know, get the kid all, all showered up and stuff. And sometimes we'll just read a book, you know. But um, put the kid to bed between 8.30, sometimes it takes them a half hour, sometimes it takes them an hour to fall asleep. And it depends on on the day and, and whether or not he's hung out with his cousins. And then uh, after that, you know, I, I, I come into my art room and I do anything that I need to do for the day, right? Whether it's make these YouTube videos for you guys to hopefully enjoy um, some nights, you know, uh, or do sketch cards or... Just kind of work on some anatomy, work on some figures, drawings. You know, I try to spend at least 10, 15 minutes on figure drawings a day. Uh, I would recommend a half hour if you can make it work. If you don't have commission <laughs> commission lists to deal with and, and other things you need to do. Um, I mean, doing this right now, I'm, I'm actually, uh, you know, some of the YouTube videos do make me fall behind a little bit on the schedule. But it's getting my name out there and it's... it's um, you know, giving you guys hopefully some content you'll you'll like and enjoy. So, keeping that in mind, guys. <clears throat> so that's kind of my day-to-day schedule, right? And that's you know I do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the opposite days I I kind of you know do anything else I need to do, and I go to bed early, right? So like yeah, Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, I go to bed early. I'm I'm in bed with the kid. You know, eight thirty nine. That's when I fall asleep, right? Because I'm exhausted, and you know it's it's. It's, it's tough, right? It's, if you're not getting your sleep, I mean, you got to at least get a six, a six hours at least. I mean, even if you're grinding six hours is, is the point. Right? If you're getting less than that, then you need to take a break or take a nap, right? <clears throat> so, guys, so hopefully, you know, that gives you a little bit of insight, right? There are so many hours in the day that you could be doing this. Jim Lee said it. You know, all these all these big names, they've all said it, man. You've got, you got all these hours in the day. You just got to make it work, man. If it's what you want to do, you got to make it work. So hopefully, you know, you guys take that and you run with it because that's what I want to see. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear about your success story or, or what you got going on or your busy day. You know, comment that comment that down below in, in the comment section because I, I want to know. I want to know what, what who's watching this. I want to know what your day looks like, you know. I want to know what's your passion that keeps you up at night till, you know, 12 o'clock at night drawing or, or, or painting or you know it could be anything right uh, whatever right it could be even watching movies some people are really passionate about you know watching movies over and over again you know whatever your hobby is I want to know about it so comment that down below and uh, you know let me know what you got going on and and you know feel free to say you know what you'd like to see if you like this video or not you know give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down Please don't give it a thumbs down. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, I put you know I put a, quite a bit of, uh, of stuff into this video, so hopefully you guys do enjoy. But I want to know what works for you guys, right? But um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just a quick uh, uh, announcement from our sponsor, which is me, James, sketching the beast. <laughs> I sponsor myself. Um, uh, please, you know, check out the social medias. The links are down below in the description. Um, if you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button so you know when uh, when new videos go up. I'm going to try to be on a more consistent schedule going forward, and we're going to start doing some live streams really soon. So I'm looking forward to all that stuff. Hope that I get to kind of uh, have more one-on-one -on -one with you guys in the live streams and, and chat with everybody and, and go from there. You know, it, it's a different world now, so I'm trying to make friends. <laughs> but... Um, you know, check out the website, sketchingthebeast.com. Uh, I put a lot of work into that. If you'd like to buy a commission, feel free. I'm, I got to put some, will be, you know, a lot more stuff will be going on in that website. More stock, more back stock that I have in, in the art room. You know, stuff that hasn't sold. So hopefully you guys like this video and until next time. All right, peace.